Good morning. Welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Hope you've all had a good week. I've been quite an interesting week here again. Um, so without further ado, we'll crack on um, with some of the lovely theatre cards. 1930 theatre cards. There we've got uh, Charlie Walker and Tim Wall. Uh, now what I did notice there was Tim Wall is with the compliments of Hurlstone Theatre. Okay. And then this one with Hurlstone Theatre has just got with compliments. So whether that was just a misprint or what, I don't know. Because uh, the other ones are with uh, compliments as well. So we've got Charlie Walker and Tim Wall there with the new with the 1930 team at uh, Tildor uh, Tild England. Um, that's going now with, this, is, this says with compliments, with the compliments, Alan Fairfax. And who else we've got? With the compliments again, that's Herwood. And then we've got uh, with the compliments, Archie Jackson there, the Archie. And we've got Hornibrook with the compliments. I've also got Stan McCabe with the compliments. So whether that means that the uh, the uh, Charlie Walker one with compliments was a different sort of or later series, I don't really know, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll sort of speculate about that. But those cards back in 1930 in the Depression, um, it's uh, to win a special autograph back by Don Bradman and a beautiful doll, it says here, for girls. And uh, it says, all you have to do is attend the matinee every Saturday at the theatre and you'll receive free and beautiful postcard sized photograph of one of the members of the team. A different photograph will be presented each week. So that means you have to go there every week to the uh, theatre. And it says, save them. And when you have the complete set of 15 players, hand or forward them together with your name in an envelope to the manager. In addition to the prizes mentioned above, there are many other prizes to be won by those who collect the whole team. All sets will be returned to the competitors. So that was the idea of the gap of the uh, collecting side of it. So it's so been pretty a good feat there to get all of those in the depression years. Um, so onwards with um, Bill Brown finally arrived in the collection this week. It's a real photocopier portrait. Information on the back there, Bill Brown, for a young Bill Brown there. Well, they came with, they came with Triumph cards, uh, comics rather, sorry, um, test match favourites. And they were the 1936 MCC team and the Australian team. But I can't really work out, it's, well, there's only 10 of them. There's another series is there, the series of the test match, test matches, and that's with the champion. And again, we've got 10 in there. And we're starting with there. We're starting with the captain there, Gubby Allen. So uh, that's the two sets that were produced. And now, fortunately for me, I've got both sets. So stars of test matches and the test match favourites. So there we are. So that's the two sets for those. 1936. And a lovely other thing that turned up this week was this lovely Jack Hobbs milk cream jug um, lovely thing no chips nothing um, Mike had, did have one on offer um, a few days before and it did have a chip in it so he said oh, I've got another one so here we are so that's a lovely addition there with the master there with his MCC cap on and an image by Sport and General on there and that is made in England see the daisy print there that is a Shore and Cop steak um, they started in 1894. This is about, so it's bound to be in about 1920, 1925. Um, now, Shaw and Cop State finished in 1925 and they went on to Silvac from 1925 to 1937. And this is a Silvac uh, mustard jug there, mustard jar, which is the only piece of Silvac I've got. It says Silvac on the bottom there. So that's what they turned into. Uh, Shore and Cop steak, so uh, a lovely cream jug there in good condition. 
um, whether I use that or not, I don't know. Probably just put it away and uh, admire it. So that's that one. Anyway, Tony's been on the case again this week with some lovely items. A nice um, England v Sri Lanka, Saturday 24th of August 1991. Menu signed by Alex Stewart and Graham Gooch there. So thank you, Tony, for those, or for that, shall I say. Some more bits to come. Um, what did they have? Again, they had crystal prawns served with garlic mayonnaise and hickory smoked breast of turkey with a peach and cranberry sauce. So not a bad little dinner. I know Stewie was always chicken or turkey. And then we've got two lovely books coming over from Tony. This one, uh, Jeff Hurst, 1966 and all that. Um, this one's signed by Jeff. There, yeah. autobiography, 2001, this one. So very pleased to have that. Of course, Jeff now is the only surviving member of that great 1966 England team. Um, so he's, uh, well, you could say the only man to get a hat-trick. I mean, Mbappe got his hat-trick with two penalties. So um, there we are, good old Jeff, still going strong. And then Martin Peters' biography. This one is uh, The Ghost of 66. And uh, the chap that scored the other goal in the cup final. And this is a nicely signed Martin Peters there. So quite pleased with those, and thank you, Tony and Jackie, for allowing me to buy those off of you. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this week. I hope the CMS auction went well last week. Uh, next week won't be me. It will be uh, um, Warwick Milne from uh, Heaton up there in uh, Lancashire. He sent uh, a lovely video this week with his inner sanctum. Some lovely pieces in there, I've got to say. So I look forward to uh, Warwick's um, video next weekend. Okay, cheers. See you in a couple of weeks. Bye. Have a good time.